Oh yeah. Most of you are probably sick of this already. On the first day it came out, I bought this book. And I'm not saying that because I'm trying to be all hipster and be like, oh, I read it before it was cool and stuff like that. No, I'm saying it because I didn't expect this to be so big two years later. When I got this book, I cried my eyes out the first time I read it. And then I saw the movie and I cried once. At least once, you know, from the beginning to the end. Um, no, actually, I'm kidding. I was surprised I was able to hold myself together uh, for, for a while until a certain scene got to me. But that's not what I'm actually going to talk about. I'm not going to review the movie. Um, actually, I'm going to talk about my experience in the theater because it was unlike any other time I've seen a movie. I've read many books that have turned into movies, but I don't know why The Fault in Our Stars was so different. I've read The Hunger Games, and then I saw the movie. I read Percy Jackson, and then I saw the movie, which was so bad. Harry Potter, read the books, then saw the movies. But I don't know what made this one so special. First things first, got to the movie theater, bought the ticket, headed straight for the room thing. What do you call that? I don't know. Walked in there, turned around and I saw nothing but a bunch of teenage girls with their own copy of The Fault in Our Stars and basically almost crying their eyes out. Not necessarily, but almost. My mom and I, because I went to go see it with my mom because she's my BFF, you know? We walked in there and we couldn't find seats in the area that we always usually like to find seats. So we had to go all the way to the bottom. Fortunately, it wasn't that bad. It was pretty good. I look around. I see 20 million people from my school. I'm not a fan of interacting with people from my school, outside of school. Anyways, we sit down, my mom goes and she buys something for herself. And as I wait for her, I turn around and I look at all these teenage girls. And I realize that I felt so out of place for some reason. I don't know why. I just didn't feel like I was supposed to be there. But the only thing that kept me going was the thought that this is for John Green and this is for the movie. I'm not here to interact with anyone. I'm not here to try to fit in to this group of people. I completely ignored everybody. Time passes, trailers start, and then the title screen comes on. And everybody begins to clap because that's the thing to do, you know, when title screen comes on, you clap. I didn't clap though. I'm the kind of person who is bothered by so many things that I complain about everything, so yeah, that, that's who I am, that's who I am. Skip to the scene where Augustus and Hazel meet. They all begin to yell. And I just sit there, like, why? I get it, you're excited, but I'm trying to watch the movie. Stop yelling. We know what happens. You most likely read the book. We know. Stop yelling. Like I said, I complain about everything, so everything bothers me. <laughs> Movie continues. And suddenly you hear a bunch of people speak. I don't know. It's not like that one annoying person. It's like everybody is speaking. Like you hear the, the, the crowd. You could hear them. And I don't understand that, but whatever. Focus on the movie, and suddenly it gets to the okay scene. Everybody, even if you haven't read the book, knows okay, 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 perhaps okay will be all always. Everybody knows that. So that part comes on. Everybody goes, aww, simultaneously. I think that that's, that's why they were talking. They were planning that part out, you know. After the aws, some beautiful person goes and yells out, he dies, and it just got quiet. And I laughed. I laughed out loud. They're, they were my favorite person there. And that made me realize that I was in a room with the worst kinds of people and the best kinds of people. I had the fangirls who cried and yelled and screamed and squealed about everything. Every time something happened, every time Augustus did a thing, they made noise. And then I was with the best people who complained about everything and did whatever they could not to cause a disruption, but we're still annoyed. 
the movie was amazing, by the way. I I got to a certain point where I it was just tears, you know, tears flow, flow, flowing down, you know, just. Even my mom was crying. She's like, "You want to say sure?" And I was like, "Sure." And then, and then, boom! Movie ends. Everybody is swimming in their own tears, and God, it was amazing. It was just, it was. Not only did it follow the book 99%, it hit home, man. I just, I think John Green has made history. Um, there was only one thing that bothered, like, didn't bother me, but I was just like, oh, you know, whatever. The last line in the movie is okay. Anyways, it ends in, I do, Augustus, I do. And. Honestly, I would have preferred if it would have ended like that, rather than okay. Other than that, dude, it was amazing. It was just great. And I think, actually, now that I'm now that I'm speaking about it, I think that the reason why this movie was a different experience was because it followed the book so well that I basically knew the lines. I knew what was happening. I knew what was going to come. I knew how it was going to happen. But it was still the first time I was seeing this. I think that's what made this experience so much more different. Was the fact that I already knew the whole story behind it. And just seeing it with my own two eyes made it that much better. So yeah, if you haven't seen The Fault in Our Stars movie, you really should. Because I'm sure you will enjoy it and possibly cry. Possibly cry. I'm not, not everybody has to cry, you know? And um, hello to my new subscribers. I see some of you guys, you know. I see you. How are you? What made you want to subscribe? I don't know, but I appreciate it. And um, yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.